my name is Eki Akoi, and in this training we are going to be showing you how to make use of the InShot application uh, just like we have told you this is the application you will be able to use this application to edit cut uh, and trim as the case may be of your recorded uh, online video lessons of course you can as well add some specific features uh, to the recorded lessons probably silent some areas and some things you have said also mistakes and try to add branding of course now let me log on to the application my aim of making this video particularly is to guide you through the application and see some of the features it has now if you look carefully this is in short that's the name of the application and this you are seeing by the time you touch it is going to take you to uh, let me just touch it uh, it's going to introduce how you can pay for the approval and the essence of this is for them to remove some adverts during the course of your work and also uh, remove a watermark of course when you have used the video to i mean the application to work on your video their watermark will usually be displayed in the course of your uh, recording so they will remove it when, once you pay so again these are settings i've clicked on it you see you don't need to adjust anything should be in case you are interested in changing one or two things it's fine but i'm going to leave this like that for the sake of the training so this you have you can now be able to use this application to create new video i mean like work on new videos uh to be able to you work on uh, photos as well a single picture write and customize the picture and you can as well make a collective uh, video like a like from the name call it like collectively work on one or two three pictures at the same time let me start from there uh, just to explore you i mean to try to show you more features of the let me click one two three you can see all the three pictures are appearing so in case i'm interested now it's just to mark and then i have them here you can see so but that's not the essence of this lesson i'm going to take you back now right i discard this of course you're also learning how to come back and do all the all of this you can try to exploit all this and then see what it has for you uh, for the singular picture you are only going to be able to pick one picture at a time now for the purpose of this uh lesson let's click on video that's what we're interested in now if you look carefully here you are going to see three things that have worked on drafts right now these are the previously uh, works that I've done here and if you want to pick another video from your uh, gallery all you need to do is to click on the positive sign above so I've done that now now it's going to assess it's going to give you access to all the videos on your uh, memory card or uh, phone memory as the case may be you can as well look up here you can see it's on video you can change it to photo just like I've done to pick fit pictures if that's what you are interested in or you can click all to be showing you the videos and the uh, and, and the pictures as well so we're interested in videos and I'm back to videos now so quickly let me pick a video from here uh, let me assume I want to work on this then I'm clicking the I've clicked the video this but actually after selecting the video this is the first place it's going to take you where to trim and this trimming gives you the opportunity to re remove from the edges left and right you can see this is the right and this is the left you can just uh, quickly click on the uh, cycle and drag take for example at the end of this lesson there's some issues i have uh, i think alongside somewhere my picture was even displaying uh, let me see you see so while i was trying to stop the video actually this happened so i can just adjust to a particular minutes i'm interested in such that the picture i mean the duration for the video i mean the picture is removed as well from the starting i can just adjust this adjust this and probably before i start i have one or two issues starting the lesson so i can as well drag to adjust if you look carefully you are going to see the dark area by the left the dark area also by the right those area are the area that is being trimmed off so it's not going to be part of your lesson now if you are done with uh, trimming you just need to click on this uh, marked sign and then it takes you here where actually you can i mean you can see if you look here you are seeing the only video that is selected among all the videos now marked where you are seeing uh, scissors is actually the video i'm interested in working on so you just need to click on this marked sign and it takes you to the application properly 
now you can see we have found ourselves inside the application now so now let's begin to look at uh, all these features you are seeing here all the features you are seeing here let's begin to look at them one after the other although we are not going to make use of them now what we are going to do is to look at them uh look at the features and probably in the next video i uh, will try to i uh, will try to uh, adjust to actually see how it's going to work i mean we we'll make use of the application proper now if you look the first thing you are seeing there is canvas canvas gives you the ability i mean the opportunity to be able to use different frames you can see let me click on the first frame so that you see for yourself one by one you can see it has changed keep looking at the video you can see it's changing so as much as you have here uh, we have different formats that of tiktok is also here so it's left for you to make the choice but for this purpose of this presentation let's just uh, choose no frame and then we go back then once you are done you click on the marked sign it's going to take you back to the video now okay if you are done with this the next thing you are seeing there is music i've clicked on it now now under music we have different features like the tracks we also have effects as as well as record now all these have their different uh i mean their different use now for the track let's start with that tracks gives the opportunity to be able to go into uh, places different places you can extract uh, music either online just like you are seeing the featured the first one you are seeing here is the feature that is from online you can extract some musical content to match in your lesson now another thing again is the my music if you click on my music that is going to take you to let me click on it it's going to take you to uh, where all your musics are being I mean saved such that if you choose anyone then it's going to be part of the lesson we are going to make use of it one or two of these things in the next lesson but for now let's just look at the features I'm, i've gone to the effects now now under effect you are going to see is another form of sounds like a kind of clapping a kind of uh, some weapon sound airplane sound if you you need actually network to be able to do this so if you just click on any of this instrument is going to be appearing take for example i'm taking instruments now like different type of musical instruments so along the line i can make use of instruments just to be able to demonstrate some of the sounds right remember all this if you must use it has to be in line with your lesson because uh, some of us may like to add all this effect and at the end of the day uh, result in distracting the learners which is not actually necessary so um this is effect now we we also have record right just like you are seeing this record i've clicked on it now now by the end of the counting just like you have seen whatever that i've said is what has been recorded live on the on the red space right so now if you if you want to record just like in fact all that i've said now let me just keep quiet and i will play it for you to see that it's recorded anyway in the next lesson i'm going to show you some of this things. so let's not bother uh, i'm going to click on cancel now and go back remember we are still learning some of the features so let's go back again we are done with this three so the next thing we are seeing there is what is sticker so i've clicked on sticker you see it gives you the ability to be able to use different stickers just like you are seeing them let me just maybe i'm talking about uh, camera so i want camera to appear somewhere i've clicked on it now you can see the camera is appearing on my lesson if you look carefully the camera is appearing so you can adjust it actually to where you want by clicking it and drag then if you look carefully uh, by the edges of the camera right by the edges of the camera you are going to be seeing sorry let me click on the camera i think i've dragged it somewhere oh okay let me remove and bring another one you can actually delete it i uh, should be in case so I'm, I'm going to click on it again the camera is appearing now so you can adjust actually if you see the arrow here if you click on it you can expand and contract you see and if you want to adjust uh, this the pen here you can just click on it and write right you can cancel as well as if you click here you see it's, it's enabled the something to swap like a flip so let me just uh, go ahead this is how to just uh, is showing you how you can make it up so 
you also have tags and you can edit right under this so so that is enough let me go back let me go back you have a lot of other features here quickly let's go back our lesson now right we now learn how to what make use of sticker let's go to text right properly now we have text let me click on it now text give you the ability to be able to maybe let me just write primary one so that you see maybe i want to add some text to you can uh, look at my video carefully you can see a text is appearing primary one that i've typed you see this is how it works now you can change a lot of effects or add or remove to this particular text you are seeing how can you do that if you look you can see color here right the color i mean uh, so if you just click on it it gives you the ability to be able to change different uh, color of the text you can see it's changing right i'm touching it it's changing so remember to use background and text color of course we have talked about that before if you look the plus sign below here you are seeing something else this is the background of the text let me just choose some you see you see i'm clicking on some you see it's changing you see so depend on what you are interested in if you are done with that the, what you are seeing the a uh, capital and small letter here is also a sign for uh the fonts you can see i've clicked on it now uh let's you see let's keep changing the fonts depend on what you want keep looking at the text you see it's changing right so let's assume this is uh, what i want then i'm done with that you can also use alignment by clicking on this the next after the aa you can you see see so so you can use center alignment like i mean left and right center and all that and you can just work on these things click and drag and see how it functions so and here we have animation you can add animation to the text in such a way that while it's appearing it's going to come up with the animation let me just click on one of them you see you see it's dancing it's changing you see you see so this is actually beautiful so once you are done for example you just click on uh, a marked apart from that quickly there's something else i want to show you there if i want to go back just click on the uh, pen on top and then it takes you back i've clicked on the animation again so you see the way it's dancing if you want to reduce you know you can make use of this you can see you can see so you see you see a lot of things so just keep adjusting some of these things in and out you know a lot of other things all these things they have their uh, effect if you don't want the effect again just click on this uh, sign and the effect will go so i'm marking this now and then i have it here remember we we are just still looking at how to some of the features i mean so we are done with text we also have a filter filter here filter is just a kind of something to add some kind of uh, effect of color and sharpness you see i'm changing it you see you can even put black and white i think you have it somewhere here you see so it depends on what you want if you don't want it again you can go back and click on original just like i've done everything returns back the effect of course we have talked about effect before it's the same thing so you just click on it and adjust and so we also have adjust here just let have reduce it now just to reduce sharpness or whatever you want to do so if you are done just click on the mark sign it takes you back so we are done with what filter this the pre-cut actually is also part of the trim issue in case along the line now you want to still trim some things off you can do that uh, even if you have not trimmed at the initial stage you can also cut a video you can see for example the dark area you are seeing here if i click on this marked sign now take for example okay i, I still want to adjust you no know, you just want to cut something out do you believe that at the end of the day after clicking on this sign now the dark area will be cut off completely removed and immediately from the this sign once the video get there it will come it will jump to this place without seeing whatever that is in between you see this is wonderful actually so you can split the video as well you can just like the video is not actually cut off but you cut it somewhere you know you cut it in between like you have divided it such a way that you can add some effect to the first part and the continuous part and all that a lot of things you can do with this application you see so now we that is split uh you also have delete if you don't want uh, the video you're not interested in continuing your work and you want to just delete then you can do that quickly then background is another interesting thing you see you can change the background of your uh video your recorded lesson just take a look i'm going to click on red now red background assuming i want to use color for my background just look at how it works 
maybe i just want to use let me change it to yellow you see if you are not interested look down here again you are going to see something like gradient i've clicked on one now i've clicked on another one so you can just keep adjusting these things and you pick anyone that is interested i mean you are interested in uh so let me assume this one is fine you can use make use of uh blur sign as well right a kind of background that is not clear in fact you can as well pick a, a, a picture from your phone by clicking here to make use of it as a background for the video so if you are done you can just click on the mark sign and you are back so look carefully here you are going to see speed you are going to see what speed another interesting thing under this background let me quickly go back let me quickly go back okay okay it's fine let's go ahead maybe when we want to make use of the something then we'll, then their speed you can increase the speed of the let me just do that quickly you will be seeing now i'm increasing the speed of children, children, good day to you i hope you're doing fine and everybody around you your parents okay today i'm so happy to see so you see how that works you can even reduce it as well reduce it so that you'll be talking so slow why because in our last so so you see but it's not good for you to change your voice unnecessarily that the kids will not be able to uh, recognize your voice because that could actually affect the level of i mean level of learning and stuff like that so cropping as well just kind of cutting out some edges just you click on it hold and drag wherever you you adjust it to that is where it's going to be i mean part of the video you see so once you are done you mark it's just like frame as well but in a very kind of giving you an ability to edit on your own so i choose no frame and i'm back so now uh, another interesting thing there is what uh the volume the volume so the volume of the now everything you are adding like maybe you have added the music you have added another video and this particular video you can always adjust the volume you can see it's at 100 you can even go above 100 up to 200 you can go below 100 you understand and it, and it will be playing so that you'll be what listening and then know the actually type of voice i mean the level of volume you want another thing again is if you look below here you are going to see extract volume so if you click on that it's going to remove the volume completely right should be in case you want to remove some volume and so i mean some things you have said some in a particular area you can just remove it completely so this is you make use of this extract volume just click on it and then you have the volume removed so you have a duplicate as well just a kind of doubling the lesson like whatever video you have once it's finished then it starts again it's just that's what it you can rotate let me just click on it you can see of course we all know the meaning of rotate so let me take it back so now you can flip let me just click on it and see i'm now here at the right instead of you can see even the lesson is so all some of these effects of course they are good but uh it's not really interesting sometimes when you are using it especially for children so you have to be as much as you want to make use of this effect you have to be very careful in order not to uh put a lot of things uh, in, in, instead of uh, motivating the people to learn and making the video very much interesting it turned out to be something else right so uh, the plus sign here I think that's the last thing we have here now is to enable you add up some things though with this particular insert it's another disadvantage of it it doesn't allow you to add anything like picture or a video unlike uh, the next one we are going to talk about that is uh, the uh, King Master. King Master can allow you to add a video here, add a picture here if you wish at the starting. But this one, once you click on this plus sign, it will automatically go back to the last slide to go and add what you want to add for you. Like a video, you see. You can add actually, you can even add a blank uh, uh, this thing or video. So let me click on blank so that it takes you, you see, it will take us to the last slide. This is where you can add something. This is where you can add something. So if you add, so whatever you want to add, maybe to just end the lesson or a thank you page or whatever you want to add. A picture, you can add a video, you can add, right? So this is where we are going to stop for this particular lesson. And now we are going to make use of some of these features to actually edit uh, a video. And in our next presentation, I will show you how to do that.